This is the age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. Aquarius. I always love to do that when when Aquarius. Are, and the people that are sort of re repeat offenders, they come here every month. Going, what bloody hell! Right. <laughs> Luckily for all the other star signs, there isn't a song for the other star signs. There isn't a song like, oh yeah, Pisces, love you so much. No, but there's a song for Aquarius. So of course I will sing it until eternity. Anyway, <laughs> Aquarians, this is your general reading for the month of August 2022 with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest, Chelsea Kane. Hello. I will leave a, a link to her Facebook page um, in the description box below. So please, if you want the reading, get in touch. If you don't want the reading, get in touch. Right? Just <laughs> make sure you, you, you visit the site, if that makes sense. So what we'll do here, we will um, divide the reading into sections so it's easier to actually understand it and also easier for us to actually do it and read it. Um, so we will look at the overall energy for the month ahead before we will then look at your emotional core. Emotional core has to do with maybe what, what can go, if there's anything that needs to be released, or whether or not there's love coming in, that sort of field. Before we then finally go into opportunities, and opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. All right? So when you're ready, Aquarians, right? This is a video, you can stop it, grab yourself a cuppa, and then sit down and pay attention because that helps. Don't mind me, it's very hot. I'm very silly when it's hot, right? So <laughs> here we go. This is your overall energy for the month ahead. Okay, so the overall energy um, for the month ahead, Aquarians, is self-reflection. Um, now is the perfect time for you to reflect on the wants and needs of your life and start manifesting um you know those dreams that you've got consider them a reality and it's going to be a prosperous month thank you very much and with regards to what i'm getting is is is, is sounds wrong proper love is the word they're yeah. using and i'm getting another weird sentence it's it's a sentence that is not in the German language. So I know it only from movies when they say punch above your weight. Yes. Right? So someone who is out of your league will pay attention to you this month. That's how I always read it, right? Yeah. Never bloody works. But anyway, I'm not a warrior, maybe it works for you. <laughs> <laughs> so because what is important for you to realize that everything is possible, right? You you don't know what's possible. And because you have the depiction of the blue moon, so they're saying to you, believe in the impossible. You know, and 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 why? Even if you if you feel you have to punch above your weight, which means it's a very popular person or someone that you feel is absolutely awesome, gorgeous, the whole nine yards, right? Um, you don't know. They might turn around and think the same of you. So this is about understanding, yes, you know, we're all awesome, right? If that makes sense. So this is about understanding and reflecting on your self-esteem, which is why they're saying, you know, punch above your weight as though you weren't as good. Because that's how this works. When you feel like, oh, you are out of my league, that already says a lot about how you see yourself. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. So that's sort of coming. But because they're saying to you, believe in the impossible, and you have the depiction of a blue moon. You heard this before. Everyone's in the blue moon, right? And blue moons, by default, is a depiction or is a, is a term that is used when there's two full moons in a month. We have no full moons in the month. This is symbolism. <laughs> but because we have two moons in a month, and moons have to do with emotions, and this is your emotional core, and you have therefore two blue moons, or two, two full moons, which would become the blue moon terminology. When it comes to emotions, this is a very strong month, right? Allow yourself to explore how you truly feel, and, and again, this is not, um, it sounds, sounds very horrible, this is not for the mingers. So well, what I mean by this is, you know, you, because, you know, you could go like, oh, my life is shit. Nobody looks at me. S seriously, that is something that you say to yourself. You understand that? Mm -hmm. if, if you, you, the universe can only answer you on your energy. If you have a low energy and if you feel, you know, you're, you're, you're physically not appealing, whatever is, is in your mind that tells you these things, which is very likely trauma that will have to go and it will need to go eventually. Um, you understand that. You would not say that to your best friend, right? But you say it to yourself. So pay attention to, to how you treat yourself. Really, really important because as far as the universe is concerned, go get them, Tiger. Okay? So that was your emotional core. And now we're going into opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2022. Okay, so the opportunities that are presenting themselves 
is uh, to me it's reflecting on the relationships again um you're going to go on a journey and it is going to be a journey of self-discovery self-love um how you feel about yourself is going to bring some somebody or something into your life um that you are worthy of so start believing in yourself that little bit more thank you very much and as you can see we're dividing things and then the universe brings them all back together yeah it's always the same it's, it's not quite nothing thrives in isolation it's not quite as as um, sort of divided but it makes it easier um so people tell us um to 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 have some divided helps helps yeah. people to understand the readings right and, and if you feel like this is way too short well why don't you book a full reading <laughs> right you can book me very simply or you can book kelsey what you can also do book kelsey and buy me a coffee because if you <laughs> like my work you can now buy me a coffee which means you donate a fiver and i get some money for it right so uh, and all this works is you go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buy me a coffee forward slash medium thomas and then you know two two birds with one stone or whatever they say right and we would be uh, lucky to have you all right see you all next month please like subscribe and share it helps the, the channel grow all right bye bye, bye.